Meanwhile, 10 minutes before the top of the hour, let's continue to talk about this. Experts revealing new technology could have been used to detect the drone. The gunman flew over Trump's rally site just hours before the attempted assassination. Here to discuss all this technology, Kurt Knudsen, the cyber guy. Kurt, your react I did not know this existed So remember yet. last week, Director Ray came out for the FBI saying, hey, we do know that the, the uh, shooter had a drone two hours ahead of time flying over the site where the former president was speaking in Pennsylvania. And what we also later learned was technology that I'm about to show you could have easily detected that drone. And not only that, it's called D-Drone, by the way, and it's a very, very smart, one of the best drone detection technology. It can do three things really well. One, it can see the drone in an area that you could put up. It's mobile. You could put this thing up. It, Secret Service could have been using this easily on the site, and they weren't. This thing will detect the drone. It will also then tell you where the controller for that drone is located. So imagine they would have been able to detect exactly mm. where the alleged assassin was located two hours ahead of time. And then three, if they wanted to, they could disable the drone mid-flight. They could just jam it, and the thing doesn't have control, it has no more control this from the operator. This is something to do with Russia and Ukraine, aren't they? I mean, this is what they keep upgrading this. Look, this is used in police departments around the country. St. Petersburg, Florida Police Department was one of the first to have this. But it's widely used. Power companies use this technology because they want to defend against somebody hitting the infrastructure of their power systems. Why didn't the Secret Service have this deployed is beyond me. All right, so let's talk about something else that really matters. When, where have we seen this before? Facebook and Google are at it again. Facebook admits it wrongly censored the iconic photo of Donald Trump bleeding with the flag right behind him. Uh, that doesn't pop up with his fist in the air. And Google suddenly responds to after admitting, omitting and admitting the Trump assassination attempt. If you hit in Trump, it comes up Truman. It comes up Reagan assassination. And they blame the algorithm for this. Before I'll give you their response, but I want your reaction. My reaction? is this. If you think you're dialing on to Facebook, Google, any social media company, any big tech company and getting the truth, you got another thing coming. It is being shaped and censored in the direction they want to provide to you. They'll say in hindsight when they're called out on it, oh, we did that for national security. Oh, or that was an accident. We don't know how that happened. And our algorithm such a secret sauce, we can't even tell you how it happened. That's all bull. The fact is, they're operating the way they want to operate, and whether they're censoring or not, the sad part is, you and I don't know right. about it until today we're sitting here and calling it out. And uh, Elon Musk, who owns Twitter now, his ex came out and said, isn't this amazing? He pointed the same thing out. And that's not happening on X. Whatever you think of it, at least you have both sides. Google came out in response to Fox and Friends and gave us this statement. We're rolling out improvements to our autocomplete systems to show more up-to-date predictions. These updates will also address the anomalies for some searchers for the names of several past presidents and current vice presidents. The issues are beginning to resolve and will continue to make improvements as needed. W read between the lines. Uh, autocomplete is something when you're typing and it finishes what you're, what you're putting in there. Look, they can tell that to do anything they want. And in this case, did, it, did they do it intentionally? I don't know. But the end result was we got censored, period. Uh, and Facebook had a similar statement out. They said they're going to correct it. We'll see what happens. Got to stay on top of it for uh, one, uh, 98 days to the election. We would just like to see the stories uh, from both sides. Is that possible? And please, not uh, affirmatively. Thanks so much. Appreciate it. Good to see you, Brian.